Here is this beautiful human being who doesn't want anything to do with my life, but the right human being mm -hmm. to be there. He's the example that I would want my children to have. In the wake of his passing on Saturday from ALS, people are revisiting Sandra Bullock's Red Table Talk from December 2021, the only time really that Sandra spoke publicly about her partner, Brian Randall, over the eight years that they were together. As she now privately grieves, those in Sandra's orbit are remembering Brian, Sandra's sister, Gassine Bullock Prado, who showed us in May just how big Sandra's 12 year old son, Louis, has gotten, posted this never before seen photo of Brian yesterday and wrote, I'm convinced that Bri has found the best fishing spot in heaven and is already casting his lure into rushing rivers teeming with salmon. ALS is a cruel disease, but there is some comfort in knowing that the best caregivers and my amazing sister and the band of nurses she assembled who helped her look after him in their home. Rest in peace, Brian. Nir Vodalis commented, Gassine, I only met him a few times, but was always touched by his gentlemanly manners. I'm sorry for your loss. Sending much love to your sister, you, and your family. I need to be in the place that makes me happiest. Mm. And I just want to be 24-7 with my babies and my family. After Sandra revealed that she'd be taking some time off after the release of The Lost City in March 2022, Gassine's Instagram post from this past March is one of the few times we've seen Sandra since. I have some exciting news to share! New York Times bestselling author! We did it! I didn't do anything, she did. <laughs> New York Times bestselling author! New York Times bestselling yep. author! While Sandra was her goofy, bubbly self in that video, we now know that much of her time away has been spent caring for Brian in his final days. Well, hi, Laura. My name is Sandy Bullock. In April, Sandra sent a private video to longtime fan Laura Nuttall, who was diagnosed with brain cancer in 2018 at the age of 18. And I um, have just spent the past day and a half looking at the extraordinary life that you have lived so far. Brought shame upon my person because my accomplishments were way below yours. After Laura's death in May, her family shared a clip of Sandra's video message when they appeared on BBC Breakfast. But what I've also been looking at is your family. You have an extraordinary, extraordinary family. For actor Josh Holloway, Brian felt like family. Josh posted this photo yesterday writing, my friend, my brother, my fishing buddy, I love you bro. Thank you for the good times, rest in peace. That was Octavia Spencer right there, making her on-screen debut as Roark's nurse in 1996's The Time to Kill alongside Sandra. I was a fan. And she said, hey, I'm Sandy, we haven't met. I, I don't re really remember whether or not I, I told her my name, but I'm sure I did because from that day forward, she always said, hey, Octavia. That's the way she was, is with everyone. Since then, Octavia has celebrated Sandra's birthday on Instagram last year on July 26th. She shared this behind the scenes shot of Sandra fixing Octavia's dress at the 2012 Oscars after Octavia won the Academy Award for The Help, writing, Sandra Bullock has always been a queen who fixes other queens' crowns. And this year when Sandra turned 59, a week and a half before Brian's passing, Octavia wrote, there are some people you meet whose impact goes far beyond their work, their aura, their kindness, their joy. Sandra Bullock is one of those people. And yesterday, Octavia wrote on Instagram, my heart is broken for Sandy and Brian. Sandy lost her soulmate and the world lost a talented, handsome, all-around good guy. My prayers and condolences to their families. Rest in peace, Brian Randall. In heaven, there's a tiny little lady up there who looks an awful lot like me bossing the angels around, especially Gabriel. She'll get him to play any song you want to hear. Give her a kiss for me. Celebs like Jennifer Garner, Courtney Cox, Kelly Rowland, and Gabrielle Union, who also added the prayer emoji as a comment, liked Octavius' post. Sandra isn't on social media, and I doubt she'll say anything publicly about Brian's passing beyond the joint statement that was a tribute to Brian's loving family that was released on Monday. But Cassine and Josh's posts give us a little glimpse into the man that Sandra described as the love of her life. Yeah, what are your thoughts? I found the love of my life. It's yeah. the best thing ever.